What is going up guys? Welcome back to the best day trading investing money management channel on YouTube. Welcome back to the team and the channel here. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to use Finvez for uh, swing trades and how to really find stocks that we see value in for you know, for those types of trades. So for those of you that don't know what swing trading is, swing trading is not day trading. So day trading is pretty much when you buy a stock and sell a stock during the same trading day. The swing trade is when you buy a stock one day and you hold it for any time period but less than a year. It's not a day trade because you're not going to be selling that stock within the trading day. It's going to be more than a day but less than a year. So the strategies that you'll find with day trading, you know, are a little different than swing trades. You know, a lot of the stuff, you know, you can definitely use uh, like support and resistance line, moving average lines, everything like that. But it's breaking down instead of the daily charts you look at, you look at, you know, the weekly, monthly or the yearly charts. And we're going to be looking up how to find these stocks. So Finvez is a free, you know, stock scanner that you guys can use to, you know, to find stocks. Now they do offer a free program and they do offer the elite pro program. So for if you guys want to learn more about that, I'll put that in the description below uh, for the elite program. But for the free program, you guys get to look at all the stocks in the stock market, but it's delayed 20 minutes and the elite program is the real time. But since we're swing trading and you know it's not really that big of a deal if it's delayed because it's long term, it's not really looking at a day. It's okay if we have this delayed up. Alrighty guys, so let's jump into it. So pretty much, as you guys go to finvez.com, you guys, this is the home page. So just breaking this down, you guys got the uh, three indexes up here, the Dow, NASDAQ, and the S&P. So it looks like the market's a little down today, which it's that's normal. Uh, so as we kind of scroll down here, we have the popular stocks. So we had NVTR up 46%, we had PSTV, up 42 percent and you guys can just get a good idea so uh, the signal tab right here will tell you kind of why this stock's on this list so top gainers new highs overbought unusual volume and then over here we have the top losers new lows and everything like that so you guys can get just a brief you know a brief uh really how the market's been doing for the large caps and then the smaller caps right here so as you guys can see it looks like you know the small caps had a decent day for the market, but the, you know, the bigger companies kind of uh, had a little bit of a slower day today. As we look over here on this far right tab here, we have this sector breakdowns. So we have technology, services, basic materials, healthcare, financial, everything like that. So what this does is it makes everything look a lot easier. So red means they lost money, and then green means they made some money. So as you guys can see, it was a pretty red day. We did have Facebook up one point, you know, oh three percent. Um, I'm not sure. JNJ was up two point oh three as well. You know, and a couple other stocks that you know were up quite a bit, but majority of you know the overall market was a little down. But that's okay. So as we continue to scroll down here, um, you know, we do have more of the technical. Uh, side of you know the stock market so trend lines channel ups everything like that so that's pretty interesting too as we scroll down more we have some news we have some of the uh, I'm not really sure what this is it looks like it's the some other indexes the housing index everything like that we have some earnings release so this is a cool little thing that you guys can keep an eye on and then we have a whole other the whole other um you know stuff so this is like insider information this is the futures this is the forex and bonds so it's pretty cool but let's scroll up because we're not going to be using that tab so we're going to be using the screener tag the screener tab to find all of these stocks that we see value in here so we're going to click on the screener here it's going to take it a minute to load uh, one thing that's kind of little you know not the best about finvez is there often is a lot of ads, you know, and you guys can use the ad blocker on Google Chrome, but you guys will still get ads like this that will pop up and you guys can just exit them out and you know what I mean. But so what you're going to do as, as it loads up here, you're going to want to click all. 
So what this is going to do is it's going to put the descriptive, fundamental, and technical all in one big tab so you can you don't have to keep clicking between each of these uh, you know, each of these <laughs> each of these tabs. So what you're going to do is now this is just my personal opinion on how to find these stocks. It's still loading up here as you guys can see. But uh, what I always do is I like to move from the price all the way over. So move you know, from left all the way to right. So we're going to change the price right here. We're going to go under $20. So what that's going to do is that's going to elim eliminate all of the stocks that, you know, don't that are too expensive because we really want to capitalize on share size and everything like that. So we still have a total of, you know, 3,500 stocks that meet that criteria. So the next thing here we want to do is do the average volume. Now, the reason why we want to look at the average volume is because we don't want a stock that doesn't have any, you know, any people looking at it. Looks like there's an ad about to load up here. Hold on. All right, so let's go to average volume. So I like to put over 500,000. So as I get that, let's see what our total comes down to. Jeez, my phone's going like crazy. And it's not even anything important. Okay. So we got, we almost cut that. We cut that in half. Um, so now we have 896 stocks here. So the next thing we want to do now, there's a lot of, you know, some people like doing this, some people don't. I like to change the relative volume. The relative volume is pretty much the overall demand for the stock. If there's no demand for the stock, that means there's no interested buyers. See, these ads keep popping up. But if there's no interested buyers, then there's it, the stock's going to sell off. So anything over pretty much points, you know, 0.75 is good, but we'll just go over one just to see if there's anything there. So this will cut it down a quite a bit. So now we eliminated from 3,500, we have 191 stocks. So the next thing we want to do here is go to pattern. Now this is really depending on what type of trader you are. If you guys are a long bias trader or you want the stock to go up, then you can use channel up, channel up strong. But if you're short biased and you want the stock to go down, then you can use channel down, channel down strong. So, you know, we're going to do channel up here and see if this eliminates some. I think it will. But let's get this loaded up. So now we got nine stocks. Now this is where we can be kind of picky and we can start looking at some of these stocks here. So let's, you know, make myself a little smaller so you guys can see everything. But uh, all right. So the next thing here is we want to look at the charts. Now, if you guys have other third party you know, charting software, you guys can just look at the look at the uh, charts on that, but we'll just keep it up here just to keep everything simple. So as we scroll down, you know, what we're looking for is something that's hitting a moving average line, something that's, you know, over oversold and has some sort of rebound potential. Now, there's a couple that do look interesting here. We have CMI that is, you know, has this nice support and resistance lines. And if you look close that there is a, that might be the 200 moving average line. I believe it is. Yes, it's the 200 moving average line. It is going to hit. So there could be possible play there. Uh, GFI looks a little overbought here. We might get some sell off here, especially if it's coming into a, you know, resistance area. Same thing with TLRA, um, VALE may look a little over, you know, just too too big of a down spike. Don't like that. This one looks interesting. FATE. The reason why I say that is because there is a pretty strong, you know, pretty strong support here at roughly sixteen dollars. So this is the possible stock that we see value in just by doing these quick steps. Now you guys can go channel up strong for the pattern and really find something that works for yourself. Well, this is really how I find stocks that I swing trade. Now it's super simple. It's not too complicated, guys. So honestly, that is it though on how I find stocks for swing trading. If you guys have any questions, please sure to leave them in the comments below. Uh, also, if you guys want to get my free weekly stock uh, stock market watch list, I'll put that down below where I have swing trades, some day trades that I, I'll see some value in and everything like that. 
So that is it though. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. And I hope the audio sounds good because I love this thing. I love it. But that is it though. I hope you guys have an awesome, you know, rest of the week. Take care.